So now that we have all of our nodes, each node is going to need to know what direction Pac-Man is allowed to move in or the ghosts are allowed to move in when they get there. So for example, this node right here, we can move right and we can move down. We can't move left or up or we would touch a wall. So we need to create a script that is going to handle all of that. So highlight all of your nodes. And you can actually remove spawn nodes now. We don't need it. Remove component. And we're going to add a component called node controller. OK, so basically what we're going to do is we are going to send out a raycast into a direction and see if a node is there. And what a raycast is, all you need to do is think of it as like a line. So this is going to send out a line up, left, down, and right. And it's going to grab every single thing that it touches. And we're going to get the distance between um, two nodes. So this node has an x position of negative 1.07. And this has an x position of negative 1.37. So approximately, uh, the nodes are about 0.3 in distance. Now, this makes sense because we set that in our spawn nodes thing earlier. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to send out a line to the right, and we're going to say, if we detect a node within, and we'll give it a little leeway, so we'll say 0 0.4, then we can move to the right. We're going to send out a line, and it's going to say, if we can detect um, a node to the left um, that is less than 0 0.4, then we can move to the left. Because it's really important to remember, in this position, if we send a line out to the left, we will reach this node. So we need to have that distance to make sure uh, that it doesn't grab any node. It has to be one that's right beside it. So I know that was a little bit confusing, but luckily the code itself isn't too bad. So we're going to create a few variables. Public bool can move left. By default, we're going to set them to false. Public bool can move right. We're going to set that to false. Can move up. And can move down. Now, if we can move in a direction, we want to be able to tell Pac-Man the next node. So we're going to store a reference to all of the nodes beside us as well. So game object node left. Public game object, node right, node up, and node down. Okay, so here's the sort of hard part. We're going to go into our start function, and we're going to create an array of raycast hits, just like that. And an array is basically just a folder or container of multiple variables. So when we shoot our line out, we're going to hit multiple things. So we need to store it in an array. And these brackets are what says that it's an array. So we're going to immediately shoot our line down by typing in hits down equals physics 2D dot raycast all. And we are going to start the line at our position, so transform.position, and we are going to send it down. Now, typically to use a direction, you would type in like vector2.up or vector2.right. There is no vector2.down, but all you need to do is stick a minus in front of it. So we are going to shoot a line going down. Shoot a raycast line going down. Now what I did right here is a comment. If you type in this slash slash, it just stops the code from getting executed. Uh, it's just so that I can give documentation for you. So I'm sort of like putting English along with the code. Now we're going to uh, loop through all of the game objects that the Raycast hit. So four int i equal to zero so we're starting to loop off at zero we're going to keep going while i is less than the length of hits and we're going to increment i by one every single time that we run through the loop 
So now we need to get the distance between uh, the object that we hit and our current object. So we're going to type in float distance equals math f dot abs. Make sure all the capitals are right. Hits down dot point dot y minus transform dot position. Also, you need to put hit down i. Uh, it is not liking that for some reason. Minus transform dot position. Oh, transform dot position dot y. Okay, so the distance is the object that we hit minus uh, the object that we are or where we are, uh, but it's y position because we're shooting down. Then we're going to say if distance is less than uh, 0 0.4, and make sure you put the f there, f just means float, uh, which indicates that it's a decimal. Then we're going to say can move down equals true and node down equals hits down i dot um, collider dot game object. Okay, so that was a lot of stuff. Let's run our code and see if we are able to hit things going down. Actually, right off the bat, it's not going to work. And the reason why is because it's going to detect itself. So it's going to shoot a line downwards. It's going to immediately detect that it hit itself and then say, we hit a node. So in order to prevent it from hitting itself, we just go to edit, project settings, physics 2D, and then make sure this queries start and colliders is set to false. We do not want that checked. So now let's run our game. Now if we go to scene and we click on our node and it'll automatically highlight the pellet, just click the node. We can move down and if we click node down and then select that, we can see that it is selecting the node below it. That's really good. So now let's try a node that we shouldn't be able to go down. So if we click this one right here and then click node you'll notice can move down is not checked and there is no node below it. This is really good. So now when we get to this node specifically, uh, it's going to be able to tell Pac-Man or the ghost that we are allowed to move down and it's going to be able to give it the specific node that we're going to be moving towards next. So now we just need to do the exact same thing but for the other three directions. And luckily this is really easy. We're just going to copy and paste. We're going to rename this to hits up and make sure you fill in all of hits down. Change negative vector two dot up to just be positive vector two dot up. Uh, continue to change these. And then make sure you say can move up equals true and node up equals true. And if you double click uh, hits down, it'll actually highlight them all. So you can see that I don't have any hits down in here. So now we are going to copy hits up and we're going to rename it to hits right and then it's going to be vector two dot right and then we want to make sure it's point dot x and position dot x instead of dot y can move right equals true, node right equals hits right dot collider dot game object. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, hits left, negative vector two dot right, um, Can move left, node left. And I just noticed up here in our hits right, I have hits up. That is not good. It will cause problems. So make sure that everything is perfect. It looks fine to me. So we're going to load up the game and test out and see if all of our nodes now know where they're supposed to be. 
Okay, so if we select this node right here, we are able to move right and we are able to move down. If we select the right node, it is the one to the right. This is able to move both left and right. And if we select that, it'll move us back. So if we select one that's supposed to be up and down, that should work as well, up and down. And if any of these are off, you've made a mistake somewhere and you definitely wanna go back and fix that right now. So let's take a look at one of the ones where we're supposed to move in every direction. Just be really thorough with this and we can move in every single direction. The up node is up, down node is down, left node is left, and right node is right. Okay, so that is working now. We actually have our game board completely set up, I believe. I know that was a lot of stuff to be a setup, but now we can actually put Pac-Man in here and start making a move around the board.